This exercise is quite creative. We're gonna start by building your own color palette. So pick multiple colors and draw little squares or circles on the side of your page. Those are gonna be colors combined in this drawing. So you wanna think about what kind of colors you want the combination of, what colors look good together, what colors contrast each other or match each other. Once you pick your colors and draw them on the side of the paper, we're gonna move on to the artwork. So now, your goal is to include all of these colors into your artwork. Or at least do your best to do so. We're going to start by drawing a border of the image and just start filling out your page with colors. You don't have to plan the whole thing. You don't have to plan composition right away. Do it a little bit randomly so that you will have a freedom to play around later. Like right now, I'm not planning anything at all. I'm just kind of going with a flow. Once you start filling the page with colors and some shapes and ideas start to come to mind, you can start realizing them. Another thing you can do is you can fill out your page with some colors first and then draw with other colors on top of it after they dry. Try this out and see what turns out. The beautiful thing to remember about watercolors is that you can always fix your mistakes there is so much in watercolors to explore and the beautiful part about it although people often think that it's very easy to mess watercolor up and that it's hard to control them it's actually not true i think it's just intimidating in reality watercolors are very i want to say bendy <laughs> you can make them light you can make them dark graphic or bright and all of that is in your hands so don't get intimidated by this media and just try and play around with different types of it try to move it in different directions and give it a different artistic direction and see what happens Thank you. 